and he joins us right now. Number four on our list of breakout players, Jacob Chikrin. Thanks so much for joining us. And on behalf of Coyotes fans, thanks so much for having the year you did. You led all NHL defensemen in goals. How? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, that's just an area of my game that um, I think comes naturally. I grew up playing forward um, for most of my life. I really only switched because kind of my last few years growing up in Florida playing, uh, we were short of defensemen. So my dad would kind of put me back there and um, just kind of, in, you know, in the middle of games, just kind of go back for a few shifts. And I ended up liking it and I was pretty good at it and it ended up sticking. So, um, yeah, so that offensive side is just something that kind of comes naturally for me. And um, it's a part of my game I've kind of wanted to continue to improve on. And I think I took a good step last year and, um, you know, going to try to continue to, to grow in that area of my game for sure. That's funny your father said that, Jacob. I remember when I was 10 years old, I got put back on defense because you got more ice time. So, And that's kind of <laughs> yeah. how, how it evolved and played against your father as well, a tough customer. But, you know, that goal scoring that uh, Tony alluded to, did you believe you could be a guy from the back end to score as much as you did in, in particular last season? It was a terrific year for you, but you become a well-rounded defenseman and now really adding uh, a lot of offense in your, to your game. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think if you kind of look back, you know, once I left Florida, I played in Detroit uh, in the high performance hockey league, which was great hockey. And that's kind of where I was able to test kind of my skill set. And, you know, from then on out, I've, I've always been kind of a, you know, a high scoring defenseman, um, you know, in that league and then in Toronto, junior Canadians and then OHL, I scored like uh, 16 or 17 goals my, as a 16 year old in Sarnia in like 40 something games i think so it's always just been a part of my game that i've excelled at and um like i said i've kind of started slow in the nhl with you know my offensive production it's it's an area i've definitely wanted to improve on and know i have a lot more to give and and uh yeah for sure just all areas of my game i feel i've i've kind of started to round out and and get to the place i know i can be and and continue to to just be in, in the tops of the league and in, in kind of the defensive category. I've heard GMs say draft what you can't teach. 6 2 two, ten. Tyson Nash talks a lot on Coyotes broadcasts about if you were going to build a defenseman, you'd build Jacob Chikrin. I know you work very hard on the conditioning aspect of your game as a player. Help us understand just how much work goes into the physical side of your preparation. Yeah, it's 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 just so huge in today's game. I mean, everybody does it. Um, it's something I've been lucky to have kind of that mentality at a young age, um, just being, you know, very into, you know, health and wellness in general. You know, I, I eat right. I take care of my body. And, you know, unfortunately, I've kind of had some injuries over the years that you learn so much about yourself. You grow so much as a person and, and as a player. And it really, you know, it forces you to learn a lot about your body and training the right ways and eating the right things and um, just really staying on top of yourself. And, you know, health is key in this league and it's something that I take very seriously and take a lot of pride in. Um, I want to be available to my team and, and, and play every single game every year so that's kind of my goal each and every summer is to continue to get stronger and uh you know just be there be available for my team so that's kind of my mentality now moving forward jacob that is so great to hear and such a terrific message for for young kids today playing our game and we always like to mention that because uh, when players like you speak, they listen, and your conditioning and eating habits and everything else. The importance of that, even for a young kid, I think is a terrific message. Now, going to your team, it's going to be a different look for the Arizona Coyotes, and obviously you're a big part of it as far as, uh, you know, manufacturing wins and helping your team uh, have a good year. What expectations do you have for yourself personally this year, and more importantly, uh, from a team standpoint? Yeah, I think it's obvious, you know, what's going on here. I think we're going through kind of a, you know, retooling stage. And, um, you know, for us, we have a lot of young talent and a lot of high-end talent. So, you know, we've been able to keep 
for the most part, the, the core group of guys together. And I think it's exciting for us to continue to, to grow together and, and stick with that core group. And, and we have a lot of really good veteran players coming in to just kind of support our group and, and help us learn and continue to grow. So, um, you know, obviously we're definitely going through a bit of a, a rebuild, which, you know, is frustrating for any player. I think every player in this league wants to win and wants to be in, in positions to win. You know, that's all my job is as a player is to, to show up every day and put my work boots on and, and do everything I can to help the club get wins. And um, That's my job moving forward, and that's what I'm going to try to do for this team. Jacob, when I come to work, I wear a suit. But I don't look <laughs> like you look when you get dressed up. Cue the photo. This guy looks like a model, all right? We've got this one first. Congratulations on winning the Masters. And... <laughs> You got to be real, real smooth to pull that off and then wait for this next one. Oh, <laughs> we got Dano on the left. This is unbelievable. The purple suit that you pull this off and then the confident look. It, is it fair to say that you're not lacking for attention or that you're lonely? It can't be, right? Being an NHLer, <laughs> looking how you look, it's got to be fun to be Jacob Chikrin. <laughs> yeah, you got to have fun with it. I mean, that's, you know, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. You got to enjoy what you're doing. You got to love what you're doing. And, and I do. And I think uh, we're in a unique situation with today's game. You know, I think guys are starting to kind of show a little more personality. And, um, you know, other sports do such a good job of allowing their players to do that. I think for us, players are just starting to kind of get a little more comfortable with, you know, not being afraid to just kind of show their personality, their side of things and what they like to do away from the rink. And, um, you know, for me, that's just kind of the way I look at it. You know, I like to show up to the rink and looking good. And, you know, if you look good, it may, might give you a little more confidence. And, um, you know, it's just fun to, to just, you know, have a little freedom to, to mess around and, and uh, kind of enjoy showing up to work and getting a laugh from Boys, so <laughs> I, I love it, Jacob, and, and that's always been my motto. Look good, feel good, and things will probably go good for you. Continued success. You've been uh, a real pleasure to have on our show and certainly wishing you the best of luck and even a better season next year. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.